Hello, my name is Mateo, and here is how you install and configure the Environment Indicator. So I downloaded the Environment Indicator module, and you can see that if I do ls modules contrib, you can see that there is the Environment Indicator. So I'm going to head over to Extend, and then I'm going to search for the Environment Indicator. Click install and wait for it. And um, if everything goes well, nothing's gonna really happen. And that is that's because we still need to configure the environment indicator. So to do that, I'm gonna edit my settings.php file, go to the end, and I already have here some configuration that you can have. But basically what you need to add is a configuration object called environment underscore indicator dot indicator. And then in there you're gonna have an array with three things, the background color, the foreground color, and then the name. So basically uh, this is self-explanatory. This is uh, somewhat e I think it's pink color, this is a yellowish color, and then this is the, the name of my environment, because this is my local machine. Uh, so I'm gonna just save this, and refresh, and I'm gonna have to clear my caches, because I enabled the module without the configuration. This is hopefully it's gonna be only done one here clear all caches and they should turn into pink and yellow so yeah basically that's it that's all you need to do enable the module set this sorry set this object this configuration object with these three properties and that's it uh, now I'm going to show you some of the options that the environment indicator allows you to set. So here under configuration, yeah, let me fold it, configuration, development, then environment indicator settings. There's um, a bunch of options here. Uh, one of them says git show, sorry, show git information, and this is going to add to the name of the environment the git branch that uh, you have currently available. So uh, in this case I don't have any git branch. And this is going to be the git branch that gets detected on the root of your Drupal project. So um, yeah, the other option, this is toolbar integration, basically what this is saying, and this is enabled by default, uh, is saying if you're showing a toolbar and you need to show the environment indicator, instead of adding a colored bar with a name, just add some color to the existing toolbar so everything gets more compact. But there is a use case where you would want to uh, just show the bar and not integrate it with the, with the toolbar. So if you uncheck this and save the configuration, the toolbar is going to be back to black and you are going to have this colored stripe at the top of your your environment your pages so I I like the toolbar integration better so I'm gonna just re-enable it and there is also the fab icon uh, this is here is gonna take the first letter of your environment and it's gonna add some coloring to it and this is just because you may have other tabs open maybe in other environments so it helps you when uh, you what the only thing that you're watching is the tab okay um, so uh, if you look over here there's something called the environment switcher and this is basically a way of saying hey I have several environments so this is local and I again identify that by adding some settings in settings of PHP but there are some other environments 
and this is useful when you are doing some QA as sometimes you just want to open the current page into in the production environment or whatever environment right acceptance so uh, if you add a new environment or a new switcher environment uh, you can just uh, give it the name production and then give it a host name so I'm gonna do HTTP colon oops slash slash um, Drupal dot org and I'm gonna select and see how it's using this nice color picker so I'm gonna select here a nice blue all right and then as background maybe something that gets some good contrast with it and then make it really light so uh, basically you select some colors in there and it creates an environment switcher so basically what this is going to do is it's going to uh, go when whenever you click on the switcher it's going to go to the host that you added and it's going to add the current URL path so let me add something else here, maybe the development environment and big colon slash slash dev dot drupal dot org and uh, this is dev so we're gonna give it, I don't know, maybe a green dark green and white all right so we have two environments uh, to switch to plus local and I'm gonna do trash cache rebuild all right and when I refresh this I'm gonna click on local and in any page that you're at, I'm gonna go back to site. In any page that you're at, let's say note one, you will always have these links here to open the current page in the selected environment. So if you see down here the um, the URL that's creating, it's just adding the the host name that I added plus the path to the current page. So yeah, those are the, um, the basic features of the environment indicator. So you may have seen that this has been a little bit simplified from the Drupal 7 version and I want to keep this nice and simple so you can uh, just uh, focus on turning this on, adding your config and forgetting about this. So I hope that you enjoyed this. Ta-da!